and I think it looks really cute. And it actually smells good. I came downstairs and I was like, it smells like fresh pine. Mm. <laughs> Hello and good afternoon, Bingham family. You guys, we are starting off this vlog in a funny way because dad was just telling me a story and I was like, all right, I've been working all day, kids just gone from school, and I have to tell you about it. Guys, so, so no, mm, I was gonna say, we have a thing called the snack pass. So they get rewards for being like really good in class. They can buy certain passes. So you can have like lunch with a teacher, lunch with a friend. Comfy chair, you get sit to sit on the, the comfy chair. chair. Yeah. So Crew took snack pass, which you guys all know Crew like is famous for sneaking in the pantry and drinking syrup. Can you pass the maple syrup please? So Ryler this morning said, um, dad wouldn't let Crew pack his snack pass last night because he knew that you would say no to everything he took. Way to go Ryler, I thought we were homies. <laughs> What I said was, was it's not the time to do it tonight. You're gonna be loading up a bag full of snacks and mom's gonna say, put that all back in the pantry. Wait till tomorrow, we'll pull together a fun snack bag. Well, no, 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 wait till tomorrow when mom's not here. <laughs> it's just in the details, it's the wording. So guys, I packed up Kruby, a very special snack bag. Kruby, okay. you wanna show him the snack no, no. bag? So this morning when I was getting Ryler to the gym, I was like, did someone return our cooler? Why is there a cooler in here? Kruby, is this honestly what you took for your snack guess, bag? Pick it up so people can see how heavy. Yeah. How big it is next to you? You guys, crew took this to school. No, this is not his lunchbox. <laughs> what are we? Load Actually, up no. There? Dad didn't send the kids okay, a lunch so today. This is what we loaded up it's in a here. Chaotic morning. Four hundred Tootsie Rolls, <laughs> two Mountain Dews. Let's see. Caffeine free, people. Bag of um, cow tails. Bag of cow tails. Bag of candy cow tails. Bag of candy canes. Box of candy canes. So look, he brought some stuff home though. Yeah. Oh my. Brought home two of these, and there was a cow tail. <laughs> What else is in here, dude? Oh, we did, uh, we opened that Chicka Boom Chicka Pop and I yeah, filled this big old yeah. Ziploc bag in there. You are yeah, not yeah, even yeah. serious, hey, but I you? shared it with four He people. shared it with one other kid. Oh, four other kids. Yeah. He, I... You can share the snack pass with one kid. He well, you share. had enough for the entire class. He said that his teacher, when he first came in, she said, are you using this for your snack pass? He opened it up and showed it to her and he said, what do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then she took it and showed it to the kindergarten teacher. He's like, I don't know why she did that. And I said, because you are a legend now. Now, because you're the kid who brought a full She's cooler, never gonna allow you to take the snack pass. On snack pass day. Setting the bar, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was just too funny. I had to share. If you guys leave dad in charge, all the rules go out the window. Brennan is amazing dad, but he is a little bit more lax on rules than I am. He just barely left to go run an errand, so I'm home with the kids. Rye Guy is getting underway with chores. Doing awesome. Kids have these gizmo watches that I can call them all the time, but sounds like Ryler can't find his, so we're gonna find that. Mr. Breck stayed home from school today. He hasn't felt super good. He says his tummy hurts, but what's strange is that's the only symptom, his tummy. He doesn't have a fever. He hasn't had throwing up, like nothing. He just says his tummy hurts. We are getting ready for his thing. I think he's gonna feel well enough to go and sing. It's only like a 30 minute program. His teacher said he's one of the best singers, so she really wants him there. So we're excited. Cute little Brex. He has so much going on this week. He and crew have their piano recital later on this week, so I'm super excited for that. We're gonna get him all ready to go. One thing that our school does, they use a lot of parent volunteer help. We go to a charter school. We don't go to a public school. It is a public school, but it is a charter school, so it's not private. We don't have to pay to go there, but they run it a little bit differently. Tonight's thing, they'll send out invites to get parents to help volunteer, and you just sign up for something to bring or do or help however they need it. For tonight, they needed cookies brought in. So I signed up to bring cookies and I ordered cookies from Stephanie. So I wanted to show you what cookies we ordered. Look how cute these little gingerbread men are. So she made us a whole platter of them. They are super cute. So this is what we're taking tonight for our cookies. Usually you can't take handmade stuff, but the school has hired Stephanie before to make cookies. So I feel like this is probably okay. I'm kind of excited. I think everyone's gonna be excited over the fun cookies that we're taking. So tonight's gonna be fun. Hazy, what are you doing? Playing Play-Doh, what kind of shapes are you making? You were making circles earlier. Do you want to make a circle and show me? Don't ask why she's choosing to play with her Play-Doh on the floor, but she is. She won this at a... Yeah, these are hard to open, huh? I can open the bowl. Hazy, we kind of match today. We're wearing the same kind of sweater. Yeah, we are, huh? I just got this sweater at Old Navy. It's just a kind of a plain, cozy sweater. The places like Old Navy and those kind of stores always have sales, so I only buy their stuff when it's on sale. I think I got this for like 13 bucks. Still of a deal, as Brandon and I both call it. Ooh, while she's making her little circle that matches our shirts. Look how she does it. She's so smart. What is it? This circle, it's but a... I don't look better. It looks awesome. It looks so awesome. That looks 
better. Yeah. yeah. Good job. So much fun to play though. That look I am making. Okay. It's the orange. Do you like this heart or no? Um, yeah. But do you want to put string all over it? I'm gonna do a star, a yellow star. We can put it on a Christmas tree, won't you? Um, that Christmas tree. Ta-da. Ta-da. When I roll like that, I'm going to touch it. It looks so cool. Eh? I feel like I get super behind on life on Tuesdays. I just like get stuff all over the floor. There's messes made because the kids kind of have to entertain themselves. Dad's working. Braxton stayed home today, but he pretty much stayed on the couch the entire day watching TV, which when he doesn't feel good, I'm totally okay with that. Normally I don't like them to sit in front of the TV that long. I have a few things to catch up on and then I need to get dinner going so we can get Brexy to his things. So I'm gonna do dishes really quick, get dinner going, and he needs to probably be in a, like a shirt and tie tonight. He's gonna be so cute. Miss Hazy got distracted while she was doing her Play-Doh and while I was doing the dishes, she opened up that top drawer and she found her tea set. She's just having fun, you guys. She has been so good today while I've been working. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite easy, easy, easy dinners. I buy this at Costco. These literally do take five minutes. They're wontons. They're just chicken and cilantro wontons. But here's the best part about them. Brandon is doing low calorie. I'm doing a little bit of a different diet. In four pieces, there was only 50 calories. These are so good. I always do wontons and rice. That's one suggestion. I've never tried the wonton soup or the salad. But my favorite way is to put them on the stove. You just heat some oil and then just let them kind of get a little bit browned up a little bit. I know a friend that steams them. That's not really how I've ever done them, but we're going to put them on the stove really quickly. And then I started some rice here. Easiest dinner. These are usually pretty cheap. I always buy them whenever they're on coupon and I buy a couple of bags each time because we love them that much. Mini wontons, chicken and cilantro. You guys know how much I like cilantro. So I'm gonna go and then, oh, let me tell you this really quick. On the back of this bag is a really yummy recipe for like a dipping sauce. It's like a soy sauce. So it has soy sauce, sugar, sesame seed oil, vinegar, and water and it's so easy, so yummy, and it's just kind of a fun little flavor. But tonight we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna do regular soy sauce and these things and rice. So I'm gonna get started. They literally are so easy, and I just put a few on the plate for each kid. There we go, just simple and easy. All right guys, there is for Hazy. Careful, your rice just barely came out, so it's a little bit hot. Can we put football cards away and eat dinner? Yeah. Here you go, right guy. What up everybody? I just had to show you this really quick before it melts. I just sent the drone up. You guys know how much I love that above the cloud action. So the sun's setting, the clouds are packed down tight so that I could get it up above again, flew up to its max altitude. It could not get above the clouds. I brought it back down, the sensors are going nuts. Hold on, it's already melting on me here. Look at this you guys, see if you can see this. It went through a frozen cloud and I don't know if you can see, that's obviously wet, that happens every time. Check this out, there's a strip of ice on every single blade. That white part at the top that you see right there is not actually a color, that is a strip of ice so as it flew through and it's just dripping all over the floor here. It's literally came down frozen and so the sensors were wigging out like crazy on its way down and so it kept thinking it was trying to land. So from over a thousand feet up it said landing as if it was two feet up. Turns out it was just frozen. Everything's frozen. I wish I could have got in here faster but I missed it. The bottom was literally ice. It had snow on the blades as it came down and now the ice is just melting here in the house. Guys the things we do to get to that drone footage I never oh thought. Oh my gosh. Yeah that's a strip of ice. Take it off right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's cloud. Mom just ate cloud, everybody. Oh my gosh. Who can say they've eaten a cloud? I wanna eat more cloud. Guys. Look at that. You, uh, that is insane. That is a thin strip of frozen cloud right there. That is amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, it almost landed on the edge. The bottom was completely frosted. Now guys, sad story. I told my brother, I, he saw the footage of me getting up above the clouds and capturing that sunset. He's like, that's unlike anything I've ever seen. I've gotta try it. He has the same drone. The clouds were packed in this morning. He went up the mountain. He tried to get above it, couldn't get above it. His ended up crashing because it froze the sensors, froze the blades. He had the same line of ice on it when he got back down, but instead of the sensors recognizing where the ground was, it smashed into the ground. He says it still flies. But you guys, I had no idea. Risks to the drone. The things we do to get that drone footage. We'll do anything, literally anything. Kids are still eating 
getting clouds over here. Guys, are you full of clouds? Because we gotta go. I love clouds. Wrapping up dinner. Mom, I thought that was delish, by the way. I know it's super simple, it's very easy. Super easy. Ridiculously healthy. If you're watching calories, I literally ate a full plate and according to the nutrition information, consumed 150 calories. I question how that's possible for how much food that was, but it was very good. So thank you for that, Mom. Kids loved it too, which is nice. That's always a plus when the kids like the meal. We are just packing things up, getting dishes put away, getting our clothes on, shoes on, backpacks on. I don't know why I have a backpack on. Why do you have a backpack on? Because we're going to school. Because you want to bring it? What's in it? Play Doh, snuggles, and toys. Play Doh, snuggles, and toys? Wow, I want some of your snuggles. Snuggles, snuggles is a stuffed animal person. Oh, the one with the broken arm? arm? Got it, got it. Oh, I love that name, Snuggles. We're gonna load up the car. We're gonna go off and see Brexy Doodle. He's gonna sing. What is it, Mom? Three, four classes tonight? Yeah. Four classes, four classes, four kindergarten classes we'll be singing tonight. We'll be focused and dialed in on our Brex. Should be adorable. Christmas program, always a lot of fun. Where did you see a starburst? I don't know where there's any starbursts. Where are they? I want a starburst and it's in the side. I want a starburst. What do you say? Please. <laughs> Guys, in case you're wondering, the show has not started, but this place is packed, and Hazy is just putting on a one-woman show, combing her hair, dancing around. Certainly, this girl loves center stage. This is who she's performing in front of here. I mean, it's literally packed. You know, you know, she could not care less. <laughs> Does not have a single fear bone in her body. We are in for a treat tonight. Look at the song lineup. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Jingle Bells, Santa Claus coming to town, Dear Santa Claus, Oh Christmas Morning, and we wish you a swinging holiday. Should be good. Just about to start here, almost underway. Little Brexit Doodle was a little bit nervous going into this. Mom walked him to his class, said he was feeling a little bit of the jitters, but I think once he sees his friends, once he gets around his classmates, it's all gonna go away. He's gonna come out here and have a great time. Let's see how he's feeling. They're about to come out. Smiling. Good sign he's smiling. Guys, it's a good sign. He's got a big smile on his face, walking in, arms folded, just being such a good boy. He is such a good little boy. Look at him. How respectful is that? Looking for his spot up there, making sure he's right where he's supposed to be. And we did not do this on accident, people. We are center section because we knew ahead of time he'd be center row. Came 35 minutes early to snag this seat. Not without missing it. <laughs> this is the craziest one I've been to. <laughs> Mom just literally went and like sneak attack ambushed the treats to make My sure we got some of these ginger ones. Rexy! Rexy did oh where is he? There he is. I am so <laughs> Guys, that wasn't easy for Brex, but he did it and he did it like a champion. Brexy, that wasn't bad, right? A little cookie? <laughs> nothing better, nothing better. Just got home, Brexit Doodle went and rounded up some treats, special treats for braving it out there and doing a phenomenal job. Dude, how did it feel once you finally got out there? It felt good. Like you were a little bit nervous, but then you saw all your friends, you got up there, you did all the motions. Did the nervousness go away kind of? Yeah. Yeah. It went away. If you weren't watching our Insta stories, he did this one. He made like this. The reindeer. Yeah. yeah. What's that one? The, um, used to laugh and call him names, right? On the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? It was so funny, I was laughing It so was adorable, hard. guys, you gotta check it out. This is how we being a mom captured it perfectly on our Insta story, so it, it was, was amazing. Good. It was awesome. But dude, we could not be more proud of you. You absolutely killed it. You did all the hand motions, you sang every single song, you knew everything to do, and you were involved and in it the entire time, and you did great, dude. We were so proud of you tonight. I love you. We are home. I feel like this is the only place you guys have seen me in the house today is literally standing in this exact same spot. <laughs> we went to Walmart, got Brex and a few little treats, and while we were there, as we walked in, I saw that they had these little, they were all wrapped up just like little greenery, and guys, 
guys, they were only $5. I put some in my vase right here, and then I thought it would be cute to like put some real greenery on my table somehow. I'm still figuring this out clearly. I just thought it's kind of fun. It smells really good. So I thought, let's just add a little touch of this to the holiday table. I think that's kind of looking cute. Gotta add some more. I think that turned out pretty cute. I just put a couple little sprigs right here. Put some fresh ones in here with the berries, and I think it looks really cute. And it actually smells good. I came downstairs and I was like, that smells like fresh pine. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to wait and see where you were gonna go with that. <laughs> Board. Which one is yours, Hazy Girl? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Yours is like a lantern or a prison oh, cell. I don't know what that is. There's a robot. He, we are going to make a robot again uh, today. Today, make a robot? Yeah. Whoa. If you didn't pick up on it, guys, we're doing advent calendars to finish off the day here as we always do. Hazy's is, I believe that's like a lantern. That looks like a lantern to me. Doesn't it look like a lantern to you? a lot of pieces. I kind of feel like you really get your money's worth with these because that is a big Lego piece and you get 30 days worth. 31, no 25. You only go to Christmas, huh? Yeah, I can get your money's worth. Wow, oh, that is such a good bargain. What a steal of a deal. Steal of a deal! <laughs> what kind of sucker did you get? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Time has come, kids are in bed. Night, night. Hallelujah. <laughs> I had to work tonight. I probably need to finish up Christmas shopping. How are you all doing on your Christmas shopping? Comment down below. Let us know if you're done. What are two weeks out? Are you on top of it? Are you, have you started? Like, I'm kind of curious to know. I feel like I'm mostly on top of it, but I, I feel like things. you usually do things way in advance. And then I keep and I wonder how many people push this like right up until like the weekend. I wanted to tell you, I wasn't really sure how tonight would go. That's why I didn't really talk about it beforehand. But Brexton stayed home from school sick today. He said yesterday his tummy hurt. Today he said his tummy hurt. And Brandon's like, I just can't force him to go to school. He doesn't feel well. Now thinking about everything that he had going on, I'm thinking that maybe he is a little stressed out about everything he has coming up. He's the star of the week tomorrow. Well, this week, but he missed today. He had his Christmas program tonight and he has his piano recital on Thursday. That's so, a lot of focus on Brex, who is somebody who does know, not like he doesn't the focus love, on him. He doesn't. He doesn't love the spotlight. So three things in one week. I think maybe it was too much. I am so proud of him. It yeah, like kind of melted me. That was not easy me. for him. That was very hard. Like it seems very simple. You get up there and you sing, but that was very hard no. for him to get up there and do that. And I was just thrilled. Like the minute he walked in with a huge smile on his face, he's talking his to his arms classmates. All he's got his arms folded. He gets over there. He does all the actions, big yeah. smiles. He did awesome. Really powered through it. And I don't know if, know if he really enjoyed it. He says he did, but I think he just powered I through because he, he felt knew proud that was the of himself. Thing to do. But I said, I want you to tell me that you're brave. I said, tell me I'm brave. And he goes. I'm brave. It but was he was the so sweetest. cute. Oh, we were so And I think proud it taught him. him he can do hard things. Yeah, so good life lesson for it him. It was a good it was a good night and he did amazing. Looking forward to tomorrow. He's gonna be star of the week. Smash that like button for Brex Doodle. He is a savage. He's a sweet boy. In his own sweet, sweet way. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being a part of our family. We hope that you have a fantastic day today and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Good night everybody. Bye bye.